Can you imagine never having to worry about money again? Can you really? Well, I can tell you from doing the research, reading tons of psychology books, and interviewing dozens and dozens of individuals, that most people can't imagine it because they don't believe it. See, back in 2009, I essentially won the lottery. I'll explain more in a few minutes. But if you ask me if I was ecstatic, I would have said absolutely for a minute. But what if you could be happy now, before you have the millions in the bank? Creating the feeling of gratitude for what you have now can shift your feelings about wealth and abundance from fear and worry to expectation and fun. This is what I did before I even knew this gratitude technique consciously. And in the next few minutes, you too will learn how to shift your money beliefs and create real financial abundance. Now, have you ever had a dream? You know, a really, really big one? One that most people thought was impossible? That was me in 1992. I had a dream to be a professional money manager. But I was working at an insurance company coding. And my hobby was analyzing and investing in stocks in the evenings and weekends. If you ask me what my true dream was, it was to be a professional money manager. So I reached out to many of them and they gave me doubt, massive doubt, a ton of rejection. But then there was one who gave me his path. And in 2008, I was hired by a major financial institution to manage a three hundred million dollar portfolio of stocks. Can anyone say financial crisis? The Great Recession? That was the year I started managing money. The other market was down 40% and financial companies, the only ones I was invested in, were down a lot more. And no, I had nothing to do with that. Seriously, I didn't. That was the year we lost our sense of security. Many of us lost our homes, our retirement accounts were slashed. Though I did manage to generate a solid positive return for the bank shareholders that year, and the next year was even better. I generated a massive 25% return. My boss gave me a bonus for that year. That was my lottery winnings. Was I happy? For that minute. But my true dream was to have my own company managing money. See, I did know a lot of insurance companies, and they have a lot of money to manage. So fast forward to June 12, 2013. I've hired the required service providers and employees, and I'm actually at a big investor meeting. My CFO is calling. I needed to leave the room. I had to hear the words, and I did. She said, Joel, the money's in the accounts. You can start investing in their funds. Tomorrow, on that warm June day, I ran out of that hotel screaming, Woohoo! Yes, I achieved my dream to be a professional money manager 20 years after I first had it. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to condense my lessons learned so that my long road can lead to your shortcut. My days as a professional money manager weren't all fun and games. It was July 1st, 2015. I literally had tears rolling down my cheeks. Why? I was in pain. I was on the Metro North train. We were slowly rolling into Harlem, 125th Street Station. It was 7.15 a.m. when I got the news. A stock that we were betting was going to go down was being acquired. It was going to be the worst day of my career managing money. I personally was going to lose almost $600,000 and millions and millions of dollars of my investors' money. These were the people who had entrusted me with the hard-earned cash, who had believed in me. I felt like I had let them down. I felt like giving up. Have you ever felt like giving up? Felt like no matter what you did, it wasn't gonna matter? Well, on the train that day, I felt like a complete imposter. And I knew I needed to do something to change this feeling of absolute despair. And music normally helps. So I put on 
an uplifting song. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Now, after establishing this happy habit, I realized I could do other things to create more unconditional happiness in my life. And I did many of them in the days and weeks ahead, like spending more time with my loving, caring daughters, Lauren and Morgan. So what could you do? Maybe take a walk in nature, or write in your gratitude journal, or dance home alone, naked, or just dance. Now here's my comeback story. In August and September 2015, just after that massive loss, we had our best two months managing money relative to the overall stock market index. My fund was up 3%, the market was down 9%, we outperformed by 12%, and my investors were able to recoup almost all of the loss from that terrible July day. Coincidence? I don't believe in coincidences, only synchronicities. And if you believe happiness and gratitude can create more wealth and abundance in your life, it will. So let's fast forward a few more months to December 2015. I make a major decision to go to a personal development course and two things happened that completely changed my life. First, we had a guest speaker speaking about stocks and stock options. And when he spoke about options in particular, he made it sound easy. He said, you don't need much time, you don't need much money, this is how the rich people get rich and options are essentially risk-free. I was sick to my stomach. I had people tap me on the shoulder, whisper me, or, Joel, does this make sense? Are options really riskless? So after he was done, we went out of the auditorium. I told him, please don't do this. He doesn't know any of you individually. And most importantly, he doesn't know your belief that you could become rich using options. Now, the second thing that happened at the course where we was given a wooden board two inches thick, and we were told going to break it with our bare hand. Anyone ever do this? There was a lot of fear in the room. The exercise was called Obstacles or Illusions. And on one side of the board, we had to write our biggest obstacle. And on the other side, our ultimate goal, which stumped me for a while. And then it hit me. Make everyone in this room financially free. And a couple of minutes later, I broke the board. I did it. I broke through. And I went home that night and I couldn't sleep. Two, three in the morning, the guy was in my head. And I realized that if I could ever get up the courage to speak on a stage, kind of like I'm doing right now, I could be authentic, not mislead people, tell them the truth about money and be of service. And then the second thing going on in my head at three, four in the morning was that wooden board staring back at me. Make everyone in this room financially free. I think it hit me at 4.30. I jumped out of bed. I quickly got dressed. I was at my office in midtown Manhattan before the sun rose. I sent an email to my investors telling them I'm giving them their money back. I'm shutting down my fund. I figured out my true purpose in life to be a prosperity coach, to teach people how to become financially free. Now remember, it took me 20 years to achieve my dream. It's going to take you a lot less time. Why? Because you're about to learn two awesome secrets for my Money Miracles membership. Now this technique has worked for me. It's worked for many of my clients, but it may not work for everyone. So here's your first awesome secret. When you shift your money beliefs to expectation and fun and level up your financial education, you can become financially free quickly. See, having empowering beliefs about money is essential. So many of my clients have come to me and said, Joel, you can't be spiritual and rich, or you have to work really, really hard to be rich and successful. My idea is these are all just limiting beliefs. Now, this is your second awesome secret for my Money Miracles membership. Say certain words out loud with emotion and put your name in them. These are called affirmations, and I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, that spiritual woo-woo BS stuff. But affirmations have now been scientifically backed. Top performing athletes are using affirmations. Navy SEALs use positive self-talk, aka affirmations. So I'm going to recommend you do these two going forward. One, I, Joel Solomon, am so grateful for all the abundance and prosperity in my life. And two, I, Joel Solomon, enjoy my prosperity and share it freely with the world. Now, I know some of you have your ego screaming at you right now saying, that's crap. 
you just lost $10,000 in that stock investment. So use my good friend and mindset breakthrough coach, Andy Dooley's powerful reframe. Stop, cancel, clear, get the fear out of here. Or you could use that other F word. So here's my challenge to you going forward. Take these two action steps starting tomorrow. One, create three happy habits. So whenever you're feeling down about money, you can go to at least one of them. And two, say your favorite money miracle affirmation out loud with emotion, putting your name in, they work. See, there is magic in the believing. It's been demonstrated in the lives of the most successful people like J.K. Rowling, Ellen DeGeneres, Tony Robbins, and Oprah, and it can be demonstrated in your life too. When you believe there is genuine creative money miracles in the believing, then miracles there will be. For belief will supply the power for you to achieve success in everything you try. I believe in you.